Janine Cummings, American Dirt. A classic. One woman and her son's flight from Mexico while they're being hunted by the cartel. We're going to look at three aspects of it. Just three aspects of what makes it really punchy and powerful. And they are how to create massive tension, how to create massive stakes, and then present some of these feelings in a unique way. So it starts off with a massive punch, with a massive bang. The opening. One of the very first bullets comes in through the open window above the toilet where Luca is standing. He doesn't immediately understand that it's a bullet at all. And it's only luck that it doesn't strike him between the eyes. Luca hardly registers the mild noise that it makes as it flies past and lodges into the tile wall behind him. But the wash of bullets that follows is loud, booming and thudding, a clack clacking with helicopter speed. So you can see it starts here with gunfire at a little kid while he's on the toilet and bang, the way the shots go, the way the fire goes and you find out this opening scene is quite horrific. So it starts with a big bang and how does it keep the tension going from that? Because sometimes when you start off with a big bang, you lose your tension and it's all gone. So the opening pages continue after this episode of the boy Lee getting shot and it winds up the mother, the family's getting shot by the cartel. The tension doesn't go because the mum and the son happen to be inside. The mum comes in, grabs the little boy, and this is what happens next. Her hands are not gentle. She propels him toward the shower. He trips on the raised tile step and falls forward under his hands. Then he lands on top of him and his teeth pierce his lip in the tumble. He tastes blood. One dark droplet makes a tiny circle of red against the bright green shower tile. Mummy shoves Luca into the corner. Okay, so after she grabs me and left the trail of blood, a little drop, and she quickly stows him into this little side compartment in behind the tiles so people may not see them. And there's a car coming, I gotta get out of the road. Hang on. So you see how she's creating tension here. If you're a writer or a reader, she left that drop, that one tiny drop of red blood against the green tile. It's just, you may be thinking in the back of your mind now, when the bad guys come inside, are they going to see that one tiny drop and realize there's someone in the house? That's one way you create tension, leaving these tiny, tiny little aspects that could be seen, could not be seen, and probably won't be seen, but the fact that there's a chance makes you nervous, makes you edgy so as you're reading on. Are they going to see it? Well, it goes on here. The door of the bathroom remains open, which worries Luca. Though he can't see beyond it, the shield of his mother's body behind the half barri barricade of his shower wall. He'd like to wriggle out and tip that door lightly with his finger. He'd like to swing it shut. He doesn't know that his mother left it open on purpose. That a closed door only invites scrutiny. So here's an S aspect. If she had to close the door, well, it looks obvious. They go in there, must be someone hiding, so she leaves it open. But there's still that tension, that nerve-wracking cartel going to sneak in because it's invited him in. It goes on, there's still more clatter outside of gunfire and eventually, after some sad happenings, one of the guys says this. Forget the chicken, Bindijo. Check the house. So they're coming in. Okay, now to create tension, she just doesn't blast in. She doesn't just blast through everyone running around, seeing everyone and guns blazing off like some weak Hollywood movies do. Some very good Hollywood movies, but some there's just too much action, there's no tension. They come in and it's slow, it's creeping, you can hear different sounds, different noises, you hear them in different rooms, it's getting closer and closer and closer. That's how you can create this build in tension. Steven Spielberg does it a lot in his movies, he slowly and slowly and slowly builds tension. Check out my video on Jurassic Park. So instead of saying, my heart is hammering, my heart is bumping in my chest, this is what the writer does here. Luca's heart feels like a flapping bird in his chest. Like that time a sparrow accidentally flew into their apartment from the balcony and couldn't find its way out again. And then it beat itself against the glass over and over until a puppy caught it in a towel and smuggled it out the door to freedom. Luca's heart is in similar terror. So it feels as if the glass of his ribcage might shatter and fall if the bloodied carcass of his heart doesn't smash itself into a dead pulp first. So that's another unique way of just describing something. Since day, my heart's hammering in my chest, use something unique, something original. And you notice there, Janine Cummings, she used 
a memory from the boy's past, from Luca's past, to describe his heart thumping. So that's even better. If you make it unique and specific to the tale, something unique to the character, it really brings a freshness and aliveness to the book, and that's how you can make a super hit. So next time, if you're going to do something like that, having some metaphor, make it unique, make it specific to the tale, to the character, it'll be more of a, a super hit. So American Dirt, it's a ripper. It's unbelievable what some people go through in the world. So I reckon to check it out. Jaheen Cummings, American Dirt. <laughs> and I might just see you in Byron Bay.